How do you feel this morning, Mick? I feel like driving a car better than a Tesla. <laughs> <laughs> Swedish Swedish Polestar. Polestar. I never even heard of it. But it's a very cool car and it looks good and it drives excellent. Oh man, I love it. Hi friends, Sparklet here again. This is my fourth film about Norway. Today I will take you to the scenic road number seven, across the largest high altitude plateau in northern Europe. Vast plateaus, deep valleys, high mountains, glaciers in the distance, waterfalls and blue-green fjords. So we are going to the to see the Eidfjord, 92 kilometers, one and a half hour. So we're gonna drive there and then back to Oslo. Yeah. Today is the second day. We are in Norway and we are driving to see uh, the fjord uh, this morning. Um, so in yeah, Gailo City. Uh, living hotel. Stayed yeah. at Gailo Garden. Gailo Garden. <laughs> we are happy we are driving electric vehicle because there are uh, no payments for the roads and also the uh, price of uh, electrical charging is cheaper than the price of gas in Norway. The road number seven is not only pleasing to the eye, but also breathtaking from time to time. Such a beautiful color, yes, and look. It's foggy day, kind of overcast. Hardinger Vida, the drive across Northern Europe's largest mountain plateau, is one you won't forget. A plateau is plain that lies relatively high above the sea level and is separated from the neighboring area by steep slopes and ledges. Tourist roads along the plateau pass in silence through forest, grassy shrubs, mosses and lichens. The main inhabitants of local fauna are deer, hunting for which is limited, ermines, foxes, etc. There are campsites, hotels, and rental of tourist equipment for the services of travelers. You can stay and live in a trailer or tent if you want to. Weather on the plateau can change quickly, and the road is kept open for the most of the winter thanks to the snow plows and convoy driving. What are those sticks here? Sticks? Yeah, on the uh, road. The sticks are for uh, snow. Oh, to see the road? Yeah. Oh my gosh. I know, that's why I'm glad it's not snowing. The high sticks you see along the road, these are for the snow, in the deep snow winters to see where you should drive. You see, that's kind of challenging. We are entering those old snow sticks again here on the road. I know, they're ominous. They make me afraid. <laughs> <laughs> but there is also a dam on the right side of the road. You see? Beautiful. Oh, look, 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 we're going to pull over here. 
something very interesting. Yeah. Great. So we are getting out of the car. Yes. To see the wonders. <laughs> well, this is where everybody stacks rocks. It's chilly. So we'll we have to stack our, a rock. We, we put our jackets. Uh, yeah, you see, it's like a city of the of the rocks, and they are staying there. It's amazing. Should we go closer to watch? Yeah, sure. Let's do. Over Let's over do that. that way. I've got my Georgian scarf, and you know it's quite cold here today. And Agnes says that in Oslo it's raining all the morning. We oh. are glad we don't have any rain here. Good. It's foggy, a little bit dark, but but. <laughs> Uh, the weather is nice, no rain, a little bit chilly, and we enjoy our morning. We have got our coffees, woke up early, and we are here. Yes. Mick is gonna get down. I'm gonna follow him to find out what's there. Okay, but you're gonna try to balance the rock here. So we'll see if I can do it. Oh, it's difficult. Don't destroy. <laughs> I did it. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are both at this place. Mick is filming for, for his Twitter. Our car is on the top. It just stop to the direction to the Eightford, which we are driving right now. Uh, and it's, it was very interesting place to stop. We decided to do it. Yeah. Now we're gonna get back in our warm car. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> nice morning with yes. no food, no? <laughs> No food because we are fasting until 12 that's why, p.m. That's, that's why we're cold. <laughs> yes. And ready to get back in a warm car. Yes, that's true. <laughs> that's where we are. Up on the high mountain plateau, you will see a stunning panorama with the Hardanger Jokulen glazer in the background. And we see the snow over the mountains. That's why it's so cold here. Yeah, do you believe? This is really snow, I think, there. That's why it's so cold. Yeah. Freezing. There is snow. <laughs> this collectible car? Yeah. You can get close to it. What is the car? That's an SS. It's a... Uh, oh, a big like car in the 70s maybe. I don't know. I, I want to ask him what year it is if, if he pulls over. And he's, uh, uh, he's carrying it? Yeah, yeah. He's taking it somewhere. That's a very nice car. It's worth a lot of money. <laughs> On those snow roads. You see, I have it. Great. Yeah, people that collect that kind of car are going to go, wow. That's the road we are driving right now, yeah. following this collectible car. Yep. And you are afraid to get on one of those, uh, Mark, uh, 
posts. No, they, they, they just make me think, you know, it could snow like crazy and we'd be snowed in. It's like, these things are really deep snow. <laughs> yes, you should have deep snow. So high. Uh, markers. Markers, yeah. People live here like in nowhere. Yeah, I can't imagine living here. Be like living on Mars. You should get used to it. <laughs> you have to get used to it or, or grow up here. Mick says that's the snow. Yeah, that's snow on the ground. We are at the snow level. The terrain is well suited for hiking and the many mountain lakes may let you get your own fish dinner if you are lucky. On the Hardengerwida plateau we also find one of the largest herds of wild reindeer in Europe. With patience and a bit of luck you may be able to see these amazing animals in their natural surroundings. We were not so lucky this time and didn't see them. Place to stop. Dude, these are flowers, but these are kind of a strange plants. You see? And it's kind of like cotton. They look, yeah. I they think it's look cotton. Like, like flowers, but it's, you know, snow around. Feels just like cotton. Yeah. Even snow there. Yeah. Look how wild this here. It is and wild. Cold. And from, cold. From the car, <laughs> it looks like those are, those are flowers. Look how many around there. But in fact, it's very interesting plant. Probably it was blooming sometimes. That's like uh, cotton. Yeah. Maybe you can make a pillow out of it. Yeah. <laughs> I like the way it feels. Yeah. Did you feel it? It's soft. Yeah, it's soft like cotton. Like soft cotton. Nice. Look, snow deer. Snow in the, snow in the distance. Yes. And some beautiful colorful rocks and plants on the rock. What was that? You look how beautiful rock is here. And plant is growing over the rock. You know, kind of oh, that's very like a beautiful. Beautiful colored lichen. Yeah. Oh, so warm in the car. In, so good. In my next film, we will continue our journey towards Bergen through the mountains. Watch and enjoy the trip, or maybe you yourself decide to spend a weekend in Norway. Then, the movies I'm making help you to see what you can find there. Like and subscribe to my channel. Let's follow the people living in the world without borders. Watch my videos, get positive emotions, and enjoy your life. Your Sparklet.